Yes, boys. First thing you want to do if you want to be pulling hot girls consistently is to approach more hot girls more often. This sounds so simple, but guys completely underestimate the importance of volume. The more you open, the more you close. And if you want to be pulling hot girls consistently, then you need to be approaching, spending more time and talking with more hot girls. Something really practical you can do is to put yourself in environments which have a high footfall of hot girls. So right now I'm in Rio and as soon as you leave the house about 90% of the girls who are strutting past you are breathtakingly beautiful. But let's say you're not in Rio. Let's say you're in Manchester. Just ask yourself where in Manchester are you most likely to find the hottest girls? It's probably going to be in the higher bars, the higher areas or at the clubs that you have to pay a little bit of money just to get through the door. Not giving me the whole oh I don't want to pay money just to go to a bar. It's like, bro, you're not paying for the bar. You're paying to get access to the people inside, i.e. the hot girls. And when you go out to day game, go to the more high-end areas of your city. Like I've got with some absolute stunners who I met around Mayfair, for example, in London. Now, the greatest part about going to these more high-end areas like the high-end bars, the high-end clubs, is they force you to start leveling yourself up as a guy. If you've not been putting the reps in to become the most fuckable version of yourself, then you're probably going to feel out of your depth when you go to these more high-end areas. But rather than getting disheartened by this, get motivated by it. I actually think one of the best exercises you can do is go to a high-end bar which is flooded with gorgeous girls and feel so uncomfortable, so out of place, so out of your depth that it causes you to go home, take a long hard look at yourself in the mirror and think to yourself, fuck this, I'm going to become an absolute killer. Oftentimes, our greatest achievements are born out of our greatest defeats. So I want you to start putting yourself consistently in environments which make you feel uncomfortable to allow yourself to be reborn in the fire. But let's make this even more practical from a purely day game perspective. I guarantee right now, when you go out for your hashtag day game, in session there are plenty of hot girls who you could approach but you pussy out because you think nah fuck that she's too hot she's out of my league so this coming week i want you to set yourself this challenge when you go out today again i want you to approach and have conversations with at least five girls who you would have historically let slide because you thought she was too hot for you i don't care how these conversations go i simply want you to get used to pulling the trigger when you see hot girls. So what's the occasion? Are you like you're gonna go to like some fashion parade or something? No, 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 no occasion. Yeah. Browsing with a trip, traveling tomorrow. I feel like you copied me today. Like I, I think, wore yes. a pink jacket and you're wearing something pink jacket. Like where are my where are my pink shoes? You, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you need to. You have your tiger leopard. <laughs> yeah, leopard. Not definitely not tiger. Where whereabouts are you from? You don't sound English. No, I'm not. I'm uh, Hungarian. Are you from Budapest? Okay, I've never been to Budapest. I, don't, I know nothing. Are you going to take me? Uh, no, I love London. I don't go home. Yeah. Or oh, you need to take me on holiday now. I'm going to. Ah no. I'm going to. You look. You look like rich as fuck. So I feel like you could be like my uh, my donor. I could be your mom, maybe. <laughs> going to be my mom. How old? Wait, how old are you? I feel like you're I'm like. Not, I'm so much older than you. I already have a child, so I'm not. Wait, you're, I'm, I'm, you're I'm, I'm, for. I'm not. I'm not your child. Wait, this is weird now. You're making it strange. You're telling me that like I'm your child. It's getting no, a bit strange. I don't think young guys. So for me. Wait, how old do you? Wait, how old do you think I am? You don't know how I don't old know. I am. 20 something. No, no, fuck that. I'm 50. I had like all this, like, I had this surgery. <laughs> and I, and look, and I also put like avocado on my face on a Thursday. Where are you from? I'm from Toronto. You're from? Toronto. Toronto? Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I wasn't expecting Canadian. No? No. Oh, I'm Polish too. I'm oh. going to Poland. You're going to Poland? Yes. I've just come back from Poland. Oh, yeah. I was in Krakow for the month. Oh, yeah, it's very nice there. Which part of Poland are you going to? Uh, they're really small towns. So You've been in London for how long? Two days. It was like a stopover. Oh, it's a layover. Yeah. I see. What's been the highlight so far, apart from this conversation? Yeah, actually, the, oh, what's been the highlight? Yeah, yeah, what's been the highlight? I don't know, it's kind of bad timing. Like, Buckingham Palace was way too busy. Yeah, yeah, it's a tra tragic events have occurred, really, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. You weren't much for royalists, were you? 
Did you care about her? I don't know anything about it, to be honest. Neither am I, okay. All I know is that the country gets a public holiday now. On the, yeah, the, we get one the, in Canada too. Do you actually? She's queen, she was our queen too. Oh, is it the Commonwealth? Oh, everyone's, a, everyone's a winner then, right? Yeah. Apart, from, apart from her. She's on her $20 bill, so. Is she? Oh, okay. Well, that's, hey, that's commonality right there. We've got so much in common. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm happy that I came over and spoke to you. Because I thought you were going to be very, very frosty. Like, you had that look about you, like, do not talk to me. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to talk to you. Call it resting bitch face. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. But I thought, I'm going, to, I'm going to use that as, a, as an indicator to come and talk to you. Well, um, are you on Instagram? Oh, g give, me your, give me your Instagram and uh, I'll add you. You want my phone? Yeah, I'll do it on yours. I don't have the app download at the moment. I've been trying to detox from it. You know. Yeah, I lost my phone when I was in Krakow. Oh. So I spent 10 days without a phone. And uh, even though the convenience aspect was diluted, it was actually nice not to have so much distraction. Yeah. You know? What do you feel like I freak out with our phone? That's me. I'll let you do the thing. I feel like came all I said that you're a magician yeah. and then you just didn't give us any. Well, yeah, yeah, basically what I do. <laughs> yeah, basically what I do. I just tell people I'm a magician. You don't even know if I'm a magician to be fair. I'm probably not even a magician to be fair. I just tell people I'm a magician. I feel like you and then this chat line, I'm a magician. And all the girls yeah, are like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then oh, they're like, show me some, magic, then they're like, show me some magic. I'm like, I don't actually have any magic. I've actually got no hands. That's why my hands are in my pockets. You don't want, you, if I take my hands out of my pockets, you're gonna be very disappointed. There, they're not fingers. You don't know what those are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what are you actually doing today then? Well, just have a couple of drinks. Yeah, I've ate that much, but it's actually sold me back up. So I feel like I'm eating every You got a big appetite, yeah? Well, apparently so. Oh, that's good. I like girls with big appetites. Well, listen, I'm about to go down this way. Um, however, the reason I've come up to you both is because I think you're both attractive. However, you're more my type. So what I suggest is uh, another time we get together and uh, just go eat some uh, sushi rolls or something. What do you say to that? I'll tell you what. Well, she's giving me approval. That, that's approval right there. I'll tell you what. If you, you drop me your number, I will send you one message and then whatever happens, that message is up to you. You can have a girl. Get the message. Get the number and then... You are? You my number. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. And where are you from? Sweden. Uh-huh. Yeah, you look Swedish. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was the... Uh, my accent. Well, no, no. It was the blonde hair, the blue eyes, and the fact that you're having a coffee. Don't yeah. you have something in Sweden called fika? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, right. Exactly. So now it's fika. Now it's fika time. Now it's fika. Coffee now, and something sweet. Right. Something yeah. sweet and... Coffee. What, what is... Is it, is it coffee? It's like, no, like this green... is matcha. I can see the green things on the lid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matcha, matcha is nice, though. Yeah. And what's the bar? Uh, brownie. Chocolate brownie. That looks I'll, absolutely filthy. You can take half if you want. You can break it. I just open it. I haven't touched this it. This is so romantic. You're offering me half of your brownie. Yeah, I haven't touched it. Like you literally. I'll take it. A, I'll take a little no, bit of it. No, break a big, big one. Do it. Like I was just, anyway. Just let go. Let go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, perfect. There we go. Great. Well, you're a very kind woman. We're going to share a brownie together. What's your name? Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yo, that's a good. That is a good brownie. I love it. Mm, that that, like is, that like, is very juicy. Oh, I love it. Mm. So, I was asking them, I was like, which one is the juiciest? And he yeah. was like, this one. I was like, okay. Well, he is a good person. Yeah. He knows his, he knows his juicy brownies. Yeah, he, he was from Romania. What's that got to do with anything? I don't know, but the Romanian people are always nice. And they know juicy brownies. They know juicy brownies. Yeah, I'm still in the middle of the road right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're going to take a step back. So I may get knocked over yeah. by like a tractor. What's your name? And your name? Christian. Oh, nice. Christian with a K, so Scandinavian. Christi Christian. Christian, yeah. Oh, okay, it's with, very Scandinavian. With a K, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I'm going to just stand over this way, so we're not getting like beeped yeah. at. It's okay, I'm not going to keep you for much longer, don't worry. Yeah, no, yeah, I, 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 feel, I, I feel like you're a busy lady with things to do. Yeah. yeah. What, do you do, what do you do in London? Modeling. You're a model? Yeah. Uh-huh. And what else do you do? I do full-time modeling. It's like, now I'm just running to my meetings. This is my agency. Oh my gosh, everything over here. Yeah. So I'm just like, I'm just running now. I have my heels in the back, I walk with my sneakers, so I actually, yes, I have to go. Okay, you have to go. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, listen, I think you're attractive. Okay. Um, and I think you're quite cool as well. Yeah, thank you. But I feel like I need to get to know you a bit better. So at the moment, all I know is that you're a model and you like juicy brownies and uh, Romanians are quite nice to you. I feel like we need to go. Are you, are you single, by the way? Yeah, I yeah. am. You are? You don't yeah. have a boyfriend? No. No, no, well, that's good, isn't it? What are, you doing on, what are you doing on Valentine's Day? No, I don't know, but I think I will be with some friends. <laughs> With some friends. Mm. Okay. Well, how about you drop me your number? I no, was... I don't give my number. You on, are you on Instagram? Yes, Instagram. Okay. What's your Instagram? 
I can type it for you. Hold on. You're going back to Moscow. Well, that doesn't work, does it? Because we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go on a romantic adventure together. So you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna have to come back. When are you coming back? I will think. I have my girlfriend here. So. Yeah, I know you've got your girlfriend, but you know it's like you have to keep you have to keep your options open, don't you? You can't just. You've got, you've got a girlfriend, but you don't have a boyfriend yet. I think you both look lovely, and I'm happy that you're not lesbians. Um, but I would like to take you out sometime. So if you drop me your number, I will send you a message, and then you can do whatever you want with that message. I can give you my Instagram. Uh, no. Give me your phone number, I'll send you a message, and then you can do whatever you want with that. Have you got like a Russian number or an English number? Mm -hmm. What is it? I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it into what? Do you use WhatsApp? Yeah, for sure. Right. So let's say you go out for a two hour day game session this coming Saturday. I simply want you to aim to have at least five conversations with five hot girls. Like you can't say you want to be pulling hot girls but not actually be approaching any hot girls or maybe approach one hot girl outside of fucking McDonald's and then it doesn't go very well. You get deflated by it. You're like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. So you need to be consistent with this. And I need you to almost act as if, act as if you are the guy who is consistently pulling hot girls because you're the guy who's approaching more hot girls than anybody else. Your actions need to match your ambitions. So this coming week, aim to have five conversations with five girls who meet the hot girl standard. And a beautiful byproduct of increasing your hot girl volume is beauty desensitization, right? Like the first time you approach a girl who you historically would have let slide, yeah, sure, it's probably gonna be fucking terrifying. And then the 50th one you do is not as difficult. And then by the time you've approached like 200 hot girls it won't even register as a hot girl approach anymore it's just an approach and she's just the girl which i think is the best mindset the best thing you can tell yourself before you go in for any of these hot girl approaches she's just a girl right let's talk now about what i consider to be the most important thing you need to have if you want to be pulling hot girls consistently no it's not money it's not looks it's not status and look, I'm not saying that these things don't matter. 100% they do. And we should all be doing everything we can to maximize our value in these areas. But there's something else, something which glues all of these things together to make you the most fuckable version of yourself. Self-adoration, i.e actually liking yourself. In my experience, pulling hot girls comes more down to the way you think as opposed to the things you have. What I mean by this is when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I looked like a fucking turnip. Diabetes. Like not a great amount going for me in most areas, but I was pulling girls who my friends at the time were looking at and being like, how the fuck did you get hurt? See, at the time, my entire game, if you want to call it that, was based around unapologetic self-expression. Every conversation that I threw myself into, I was playing to win rather than playing not to lose because realistically, I had nothing to lose. I was abundantly carefree with the way I acted around hot girls and this was my greatest superpower. Guys who were better looking, better dressed, had better bodies, couldn't quite work out what it was that I was actually doing. When I saw a girl who most of my friends were terrified to talk to, I would go over to her having already accepted myself, going in there with that playing to win rather than playing not to lose mentality and quite frankly, just talk absolute shite to her. I think for the hot girls who I was approaching, it was glorifyingly refreshing, right? I wasn't going over there trying to be impressive, trying to posture a certain way, try to be cool. I wasn't filtering what I said. I just wanted to have as much fun in that conversation as possible and see how far I could actually push things given what I had or didn't have. Oh look bro, I'm not saying I was some sort of Lothario back in my turnip days. I got blown out just as much as every other guy, right? But a surprising number of girls who on paper I should never have got, I got. And you can see this in the conversations that I have today, yeah? That carefree, audacious, nonsensical style that's become synonymous with the way that I interact with women. All of this, like what you see today, 
way was born during those turnip years because at the time I didn't have anything else going for me. I remember the very first conversation that I had with my first girlfriend who was an <laughs> absolute worldie. Like I remember going over to her um, I ended up talking to her about how for the past three days I'd been shitting myself. Uh, then we had a fun war and then we slept together. And then after that relationship ended, I ended up meeting this other girl who I lived with uh, in her basement in Liverpool for like two months. We're just smashing a shitload of drugs together. Absolute goddess. And I remember her saying to me, the reason that she liked me so much was I was just different to the other guy she'd been with. Like when girls start saying these things to you, like, oh, you're weird. You're not like the other guys I've been with. You're different to other men. Like it basically just means warned me. Point being, when most guys approach a hot girl, or any girl for that matter, they end up diluting their personalities. They end up trying to fit into a mold of what they think this girl wants, and they're so up in their heads trying to say the right thing or not say something stupid that they kill the very thing that girl could have been attracted to, which is your authentic masculine essence. And for this to work, you actually need to like and be secure in your own skin, right? Because remember, beautiful women are a beautiful byproduct of a beautiful life. And look, bro, the subject of self-worth is a big topic, right? But on a really practical level, to actually give yourself this sense of self-adoration, start doing things on a daily basis that make you feel good about yourself. So for me, daily intense exercise, creating valuable work like these videos that change the lives of men around the world, making other people feel great about themselves, being surrounded by a masculine support network of like-minded guys who support me and my goals. And this one is key, actually talking highly of myself. If there's one thing I want you to start doing after watching this video, it's to simply start talking highly of yourself. Like I know we've all heard about the power of affirmations and look bro, I used to turn my nose up at this shit like, oh fuck that, I don't wanna just like sit down and be like, I am the best, I'm the girl, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but then I realized we can be crushingly cruel commentators of ourselves, right? If you're anything like me, my default mode is to go into this egoic self-rumination where my mind just runs wild with these self-deprecating thoughts. And if I'm not careful, if I don't check myself, then this can become extremely self-destructive. I think one of the main things that castrates men of their confidence is their own negative self-talk. Like you could have a great body, a glittering career, a high-flying job, but if you still talk down to yourself, if you still believe yourself to be unlovable, if you still think think you're a worthless piece of shit, then these materialistic trophies mean fuck all. I've worked with so many guys who fit this description perfectly, right? Guys who look great, have glittering careers, high-flying jobs, but who still suck absolute balls with women because they didn't believe in their own greatness. No matter what you do, no matter how much money you make, how great you look, what sort of fucking body you've got, like you'll never be enough until you make the decision that you're enough. So really practical, create a list of five self-adoration phrases that you repeat to yourself every morning when you wake up and every night when you go to sleep to actually remind yourself of your own greatness. If you don't rate yourself, if you don't big yourself up, if you are not your number one cheerleader, you're fucked. Like, be more narcissistic, have delusions of grandeur, act as if you are the most fuckable man on the planet, because why not? Like, it's just as objectively true to believe yourself to be the most fuckable man on the planet as it is to believe you are the biggest piece of shit on this earth. Perception is reality. There's no rules to any of this stuff. And we get to choose in any given moment how we feel about ourselves. So why would you not choose to feel powerful, to feel worthy, to feel like the most fuckable man on the planet and then take this self-adoring energy into your conversations with beautiful women? I remember hearing Andrew Tate say, you lose nothing by believing yourself to be the fucking guy. So start. And the final thing that I want to say about pulling hot girls, which is something that I learned from 
Zanperion in his book, The Alabaster Girl, which I highly recommend you read, is beautiful women are secretly lonely. Most guys are terrified to talk to them and most women are jealous of them. So as a result, beautiful women never feel included. For me, this is a killer shift in mindset because nobody is approaching hot girls. I don't know about you, man, but this mindset really motivates me because I think most guys are going out there, they see a hot girl and they think, oh, I'm not going to go in for that one because she's probably been approached a hundred times today already. It's like, no, no, fucking no. Like she barely gets approached during the day. And when she does get approached at night, like at bars or clubs, it's usually creepy fuckers or boring rich guys who've got zero charisma. So every time that you see a hot girl after watching this video, I want you to have the mindset. I want you to remind yourself that nobody is approaching her and then go over to her with this unapologetic sense of self-adoration that we just discussed. Even if you're not the greatest looking guy, the fact that you've approached her, especially if it's during the day, she's going to be thinking to herself, there's something about this guy, the way he's approached me, the sheer audacity of it. He must have done this in the past and got good results from it. You almost get this implied sense of pre-selection when you approach a girl with this unflinching boldness. Law number 28 in Robert Greene's The 48 Laws of Power elucidates this perfectly. Enter action with boldness. If you hesitate before doing something, your doubts will undermine your efforts. When you act, be bold. And if you make mistakes, correct them with even greater boldness. Everyone admires the bold. So the next time that you approach a hot girl, I want you to go in there with this full sense of self-adoration. Be playing to win rather than playing not to lose. Because realistically, you have nothing to lose. There's no risk high reward. So go out there, treat the world like your playground, go into your conversations with hot girls with this brimming sense of self-adoration, play to win rather than play not to lose, and act as if you are the most fuckable man on the planet because why not? And if you would like help implementing any of the things we've discussed throughout this video, then the best way to do it is to apply to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I offer both in-person and online mentoring to guys who are serious about becoming the most fuckable version of themselves, having more options than they know what to do with, and finally feeling in control of their dating lives. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then just book yourself in for a free 30 minute consultation call by clicking the first link in the comments. So we're going to have to take these options anyway. So you might as well do it with someone who's going to get you there faster. So click the first link in the comments, book yourself in for a free 30 minute consultation call to see if my coaching is right for you. Stay sexy. You stay sexy, okay?